Hello, what have we here? Mod Ting. What's going on, guys? Lambo Kairiz in here, coming at you with another explain video. Today, we're going to be going over the Phantoms of Common Rider Wizard. Now, the Phantoms are the first Kaijin of the Neo Heisei era or Phase 2 Heisei generation where they don't transform using any items. So, don't expect any kind of Phantom Ring explained video in the future. Phantoms are born only within the bodies of humans who have magical potential. These people are called Gates. And while in the infant stage, the inner Phantom which looks very monstrous in appearance, proceeds to destroy a gate's underworld. When a phantom emerges from their host, they gain a physical humanoid body and receive the ability to imitate and disguise themselves as their gate. The caveat to all of this is that if the inner phantom is kept with inside of the gate's body by them clinging on to hope, the phantom then becomes enslaved and allows the gate to use magic, thus becoming a magician. Beast is kind of an exception to this because he got his in a weird way, but when we go over Beast content we'll go over with that part too. Anyway, each phantom has a form based on a monster from various western mythologies, meaning that each of their personal abilities are usually based on whatever creature they're based off of. A good example of this is the phoenix phantom's ability to regenerate after every defeat, growing stronger every time he comes back. Much like humans, all phantoms have different personalities, with each of them being either the dark side or the exact opposite of their respective gates. One ability that all of them seem to share is the creation of familiars known as ghouls. These are usually by way of magic stones and usually serve as the foot soldiers for them. Many of the phantoms wizard and beast defeat in the series were created on the day of the solar eclipse, which is a big plot device in the series. And many of the followers follow the orders of Wiseman, the carbuncle phantom, to find more gates to put into despair in order to increase their population. It should be worth noting that not all phantoms are interested in this kind of cause and prefer to do their own thing. Prime example is the Lizard Man and the Catsif Phantoms. Of the 26 phantoms seen within the entire series, well, TV series at least, the Wiseman is the strongest of the phantoms and he serves as the leader, with the chiefs being under him being the Phoenix, Medusa, and Gremlin, while the other ones make up the lower tier list. Getting to Wiseman, aka the Carbuncle Phantom, this is actually the disguise used by common writer Wiseman. I, I thought he was White Wizard? I... I... So Kamen Rider Wiseman's disguise is Wiseman, the Carbuncle Phantom, and is pretty much the true identity of So Fueki. Wiseman in and of itself is an artificial phantom, meaning that Fueki implanted a phantom into his self using both science and magic in order to give himself a source of magic. Although it's never really seen what Wiseman can do, it's safe to say that he's the most powerful phantom seen thus far and for good reason too. Wiseman has the ability to create magical chains strong enough to bind Legion, you know, Legion, the guy who had to be killed by Wizard Infinity, and can also create magical barriers that only attacks like Wizard's finishers can destroy. In fact, Infinity Wizard couldn't even touch this dude when they first fought, and with the flick of his hand, caused Infinity Wizard so much damage that large amounts of mana just like gooped out of this dude. So yeah, seeing this guy really finesse on people would have been cool if he stayed Longer. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give me a like, subscribe to the channel for more common writing and super sense at weekly goodness, and in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite phantoms are. Also, if you guys have an idea for a video for me to explain or anything like that, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section as well. I promise to go over underworlds and other things like that when we get to the magician part. I promise. Other than that, I'm Lambo Kairizzi reminding you guys to keep calm and toku on. Yeah, yeah.